was a plan to carve his biceps into a mountain. Mountains, however, do not come manly enough. A savage, feral werewolf once bit him. On moonless nights, the werewolf turns into a brony. There is more testosterone in his manly tears than an entire football team. Fortunately, My Little Pony is not a banned substance. And now, the manliest casserole in the world. Hey guys, welcome back. We are now in the holidays. The holiday season is here, and all my friends love this little recipe that I do. And it's a sweet potato casserole. Now it's more dessert than side dish, but I'm gonna let you figure that one out. And we're gonna get to cooking it right about now. Okay guys, the first step in this recipe is to get that oven over there set at 350 degrees. Follow me over, let's do it. It was already set. <laughs> but you do it now. Okay guys, this is a very simple recipe. Not many ingredients. We're gonna go through them right about now, okay? Because this is a casserole, we like yams. I like the color of yams. You can use sweet potatoes, but the color of the yam gives it a little bit more. I like it. So, you're also gonna need brown sugar. You're gonna need flour. You're gonna need <coughs> flour. Uh, salt, you need some salt. You're gonna need condensed milk. Not regular, condensed milk, okay? Two eggs. Vanilla extract. Unsalted butter cane sugar. That's a lot of sugar in this. So, yeah, I didn't say it was healthy. It's good, though. And, last but not least, you're going to need some pecans. We're going to chop these up for a topping. That is going to be delicious. So, go get your stuff, come back, and also, don't forget your dish. Okay guys, now yams come from the ground, so they're a little bit doity. So we need to go over there and we need to wash them off, then we're going to peel them, okay? So get all that end stuff, cut that off, peel it up, and get them back over here, and then we're going to show you how to chop them, okay? Okay, all you military bronies out there, I know you've peeled potatoes before, but anybody who hasn't, you're going to need one of these. See that? How this works is you just slide it along the tuber, like that. We want to get all of that white stuff off, and we want to get down to the nice delicious orange right there. So we need to get all of that off. So get that off, and come back, and we'll chop some. Okay guys, now they have these all nice and washed and peeled, looking just about like this. Now we need to cube them up, so that we can get them into a hot water pot over there, so we can mash them. Okay, so it's just like doing mashed potatoes, just stick them in the water until they're nice and soft. Okay, now that you have them all cubed up nice and your water is boiling, get it over there into the water and then bring it to a simmer, which is about a three or a four on your electric range, and then for 20 minutes, leave them be. Be careful, it's hot. Okay guys, when your yams are mushy like this and they float, they're done. Get them drained and get them over here. Okay guys, now that we have our yams boiled, mushy, and drained of all liquids, and over here steaming nicely and smelling awesome, you'd think we'd mash them. Right? <laughs> well, we would, but... We're men around here. We have power tools. So, we just put them in here. La -da 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 -da. Let's get some in there. Yeah. 
get some in there like that. Fill up. And get it motion. Okay guys, this part of the recipe and for the topping, you're gonna need to measure out your butter and melt it. Easy way to do it. You ever see the bottom of these things? They say you got teaspoons. All you have to do is cut it where it says tablespoons. And that's what we need right there for this one. So go melt it. Okay guys, now that you have these mashed up a little bit, we're gonna start putting the ingredients in. So make sure you put your mixer on two, or if you got your hand mixer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the sugar, not brown sugar, this is the white sugar. Salt. Vanilla. Now you can go extra on the vanilla. Too much vanilla is never enough. Melted butter. A quarter cup of the evaporated milk. Mmm, delish. Get in there. Takes a little while. Get it all in there. Mm. Good stuff. Then, your eggs. We'll try to keep the shells out this time. Let that mix up nice until it all comes in, all right? Okay, now that our yams are nice and together with all our other ingredients, stop. Bring it on down. Now, we need to grease our pan with a little butter so it doesn't stick when we put it all together. So when it cooks, it comes off nice and cleanly. There's a grease set up, just like that. That off. You can give this to your little sister, your little brother, to this. Delicious! Mm, good stuff. Come over here with your ladle and get that in your casserole dish. Might have made a little bit too much. But that's okay. We we'll just make another pan of it because it's oh so good. Yeah, that's about enough right there. I'm gonna do this. I don't want. You want me to do this? I want to eat it. Ow. Mm. Okay guys, now that we've gotten that into our casserole dish and set it aside, we're going to start on our topping. Now, well, first thing we need to do is we need to chop these beautiful pecans that were shelled by my beautiful girlfriend Amy. Mm, they're so de mm, delicious. But they need to be smaller, so we're just going to cut them up. Come on down here and watch. Okay, now we're ready to combine our topping. Now, I haven't been giving you guys a lot of measurements. The measurements are in the description down there, so print it out, get all that stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put together our flour and our brown sugar in this mixing bowl right here. And we're gonna start whisking that together. You just want to get it together. Once it starts looking like that, not lumpy, we're gonna go with a little eighth of salt. That's all you need. Don't need that. Now we're gonna put in our pecans.
get that all nice and mixed up. Once that's all together like that, we're going to put the butter in. Like that, and then start bringing it together. Okay guys, you know it's done when it looks like this. It's a crumbly crumble. It's actually a streusel. You've made a streusel. You're not looking for a dough. You're looking for a nice crumbly like this. Okay? This is when you know it's done. If you need a little more butter to bring it up to this consistency, go ahead and do it. Okay, now that we have our yams ready, we have our topping ready, what we need to do is evenly distribute that over your yams, okay? Just like this. You don't want to pack it down, you just want to lightly let it fall upon the top. Like so. Like that. You're probably gonna end up with more than you need, and that's fine, because you can always make a double batch with what we left over there. I think we will. Okay guys, if you're pre-making these for your holiday dinners, you can actually wrap this and put it in the refrigerator this time so you can bring it out and warm it up just before dinner. But you need to do this. It goes in the 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. We're gonna do that right now, okay? Follow me over. <whistles> 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes is up. Let's see what we got. Ah, told you I did a second one. Ah, when it looks like this, take it out. Then, turn on your broiler. Okay, so you might be wondering why we turned on our broiler. Because now that this is nice and baked and brown, we're going to broil the top and get it nice and bubbly and awesome. So we're going to put this in the oven with the broiler on for about 45 seconds. And watch it, it's hot in there. Forty-five seconds. And when we take it out of the broiler, it's gonna look a little something like this. And that's really all there is to this recipe. It's really good. I didn't say it was healthy. <laughs> it's full of sugar. It's full of awesome. And whenever you make this for your family, it's going to be a hit. So, let's dig in. Oh, look at that crust. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. It's good, I'm telling you. Mm. Same time.